for a meeting of the Intermountain Humane Society to order December 20th at 630. Start with the reading the mission statement. IMHS serves animals and people by offering programs that promote animal health and responsible pet stewardship and foster compassion towards animals. I'd like to ask for a moment of silence for Cupcake, a cat that was euthanized on November 30th. Thank you. The minutes from the November meeting were approved by majority vote on December 20th. Uh, business update. We had on November 24th a motion to authorize MARTA to purchase logo wear as necessary to fulfill requests and keep a reasonable inventory <coughs> was approved. November 28th, a motion to change the wording in the director's application was approved. On November 28th, the motion to approve, to pre approve euthanasia for Hannah at the time that David or Kathy deem it's in her best interest to do so was approved. But she's still. Yes, she's still away. hanging in there. Sure she's getting fatter and fatter, and, but she's hanging in there. Okay. All right, so that's it for the business update that I have. Um, well, I guess we could mention that Steve is going to be resigning from the board. Um, we do have an application from JJ Sackett for to take his board seat. Um, so we'll probably, if she can attend the next meeting, then we'll uh, try have an interview with her after the meeting and see what she, if she's still interested. Um, that said, I guess I can bring up that we will need a new secretary. And um, so if anybody's interested, looking at you, Ellen. <laughs> I'll have to think on that. Okay. Um, you did such a good job of it before. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, you can ask the meeting if you want to talk to Steve about what the responsibilities are. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be happy to fill in. All right, so we can move on to the shelter director and supervisor reports. You have Marta's report in front of you. And for last month, it was a little cool, too. Um, kind of a low month for us since we were a little, a little overzealous in October, and so we had some making up to do and some catching up to do. Uh, but we can buy again, was it that Do you know what the year of date is? Absolutely. As far as in? I have uh, adoptions I was looking for. Now. I believe adoptions is at 555. I believe um, total in is somewhere around 707. to get to 1231 and see what that final number is. <laughs> um, and Marta promised me that I wouldn't have to give her a report, so I'm holding her to that. <laughs> give everybody a second to scan over Marta's report. And if we have any questions, Nicole can take it back to her for us. Next meeting is going to be Tuesday, is it the 8th or when do you have it? Yeah, I have it. I'm going to put it in my phone. I think that's the 8th. 
think it's Tuesday the 8th at Doug's house. Yeah, 6.30. And the plan for that meeting is, is going to be starting on, um, or talking about fundraisers for 2013, who we might need to contact for the silent auction now in January, because we missed a lot of folks because we didn't start early enough. And um, I think that's about it. It's primary focus points. I still think there's is there going to be a raffle, you think, is that the, for the... We the talked about team? it, yeah. So we, were, we started talking about some of the different raffle items and, and how many and how much <coughs> we can charge for it and how soon we can start selling tickets and getting tables at the grocery stores and stuff. And, um, doing that for the membership meeting today. Did anybody look any further into getting the gaming... Um, actually, I, I did go on that website, so um, there were, one was for like raffle and gaming, was that mm -hmm. the one, and then there was just one for raffle, so I got kind of confused. Probably be okay with just raffle, we have it done at the right now, but it's not in the talks. Okay, um, I'm, I'm assuming the, class, the online course isn't rocket science and it's just like an hour or so. For, for a couple hours. I don't know. I don't. I didn't take. I took the in in class course. All right. Um, I will. But I will, the test itself was all about five minutes. Okay. I will get on, and if it's if it's just a couple hours of course, I'll definitely do it, and I can email you guys. That's right. I think you sent you sent out that mm -hmm. link, right? So I have it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I get to submit the raffle report this one. Okay. The next one. Next one. It was very quick, yes. Um, she also got a full time job. Oh. It was not working out well. I know I'm not on the agenda, but uh, something caught my eye. I was thinking about some way to get some more money. And this uh, non profit. Uh, Uh, deal that they do with the uh, donations. The Colorado Big State? Yes. We have to apply in March. Oh, I was going to say, I wonder it's how you can our calendars. Because there's a couple of things that I thought, well, this is stupid to give money to this when we could use it. So as I just wondered about that. For, um, <coughs> for the raffle, um, Marcel from Aspen Geek Sellers is donating a case of a mixed case of wine. Nice. Cool. All right. The grants report we did receive a $6,500 grant from the Bates Foundation and Trust. And I understand it didn't have any restrictions on use. Um, it wasn't a <coughs> restriction per se, but it was more of a request. Um, but in order to be able to track and tell them how we use the money, I do put that one in every year as a restriction about the standard. Yeah, that's right. All right. That's all for the finance report. Um, technology reports. Um, yeah, two things. The, um, the big one from yesterday and today is the website was down yesterday. The website was down. Uh, um, I don't think the name server has been found out yet, so the email is still not working quite right. Um, the other is um, ASM. Um, Ken has done a bunch of work to get a couple of reports working. Um, the, the guy who wrote ASM, Robin, something or another, I can't remember his last name, uh, has been really responsive about getting answers back and getting a couple of reports <coughs> fixed up so that we can better track inventory. Kind of the reason it came back, I'll go back to Marta's report a little bit. Um, kind of the reason it came up is um, uh, trying to track all of our inventory because um, we're pretty sure at this point that a couple of animals that were at PetSmart, the paperwork and the money went to um, another organization called Every Creature Counts. Um, so we just wanted to be able to more easily get our inventory, and we found that one of the inventory reports was not working very well at all. So that was the impetus, but um, I guess
guess the other thing is um, we did talk a little bit about um, possibly going either with a different software package or um, ASM offers an online solution where they track everything. The benefits of it would be you get updates all the time. It's on the latest version. You have support. It's 275 a year. Is that right, Ken? Yeah. So 275 years ago, <coughs> host our account. The, the plus side of them hosting is that anybody could be anywhere, so we could be at an event or something like that. As long as we have internet access, we could use ASM. The downside is it's on the internet, so if we ever lose our internet connection, we don't have ASM. Um, so something to think about. I don't think we need to take any action at this point in time. Um, and then um, I don't know if anyone has suggestions, and I'll look to Nicole and Marta have used other software in the past if there's another package that's better. So, you know, ASM's not bad, but the, the reason we went with it is because it's free. Um, it does, for what it, for being free, it does, I think, an exceptional job. Um, and it is, because it's free, I think there's a lot of companies who are starting to use it, or societies who are starting to use it um, more and more, but just something to think about. So are they online? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. The online version um, would be all the same functionality, or would there be increased functionality? I, I didn't research it that much. I'm, I would submit that it's probably, at a minimum, all the stuff that we use. Um, there may be some of the stuff that we don't use or less commonly used features that are gone. Um, but I think it's probably got some additional functionality too. Yeah, they added a few minor things. I don't think it's anything significant. But it's mainly it's the latest version which we've never upgraded to. Right. It's we're on version two and there's a version three out, but it's fairly involved to upgrade the database, so we haven't done that. <coughs> it's got the latest version and they'll answer your questions right away, email. And you might be able to ask them for custom reports too, which I'm not clear if they would, but it's something we need to ask them. If you're paying for it, then if there's a report we don't like or link more information, maybe they can do a custom version. Um, I also talked to Marta about it. She's thinking in January she'll look into, what's the, what's the name of the other place I talked to you too about it? The, the one where you have to buy their microchips? Pet point. Mm -hmm. pet point. So I actually have, we had a pet point account at one time. I have all that information and, what, and I think the person who had the account isn't with IMHS anymore. I have instructions on how we can reset the administrator of the account who has to submit it, like it's got to be on an, a letterhead or our official IMHS. Anyway, I do have that information from PetPoint, um, so um, I can get that to Marta or Nicole. Um, kind of came up accidentally <coughs> somehow, and they're like, oh, you have an account with us. So I have all that, um, and we can look at that. Um, you know what it costs? Uh, I don't, I don't, but, you, but once you get the account, you can at least run their free demo okay. and see if it's of any value. Um, I had heard PetPoint had a bad rap maybe about 10 or 15 years ago. Um, it's been around for a while, but I've also heard it's gotten a lot better. But I've, uh, I've definitely never used it. Um, my other question is actually on ASM. Um, what's the backend database? Do you guys know? MySQL. MySQL. Do we have direct access? We do have direct access, and there's also a report writing utility. Oh, okay. So that you can do SQL queries. Um, the new one has a different database, though, which I forget. The and the new one is, uh, I don't remember. Yeah. I mean, they're all not that different. One of the big struggles or things that have been really sucking up, I think, time for me and time for Marta is that I'm taking a, crap, a cruddy report out of ASM, putting it into Excel. It's completely formatted in an absurd way with merged fields. I'm doing eight zillion formulas and dupe checks and a zillion things to be able to allow her to maintain something she can use for, you know, fundraising, newsletters, whatever, or try to, you know, if there are custom, a couple of custom database fields and check, you know, check boxes, we could just be pulling <coughs> information right out of ASM, but right now we're doing massive amounts of double and triple work that, you know, with just, well, you know, with just a couple of queries. If you're good at it, that's... Um, I mean, I'm, not, I was a C every, every, I'm rusty, but I was a SQL DBA for a long time. I'm not sure which language you're actually using in ASM now, something different, but they do show the code for every report. You can change the code. Yeah, see, I, I'm, not, I'm not a co I mean, I can write SQL and then I can output it to Excel or, or a mail merge or whatever. I don't do, you know, I don't do code code, but right. I'm, um, I'm, I'm a good database person. Do you have time in the coming days where we could sit down together and maybe figure out how to 
figure out between the two of us if we put our heads together. Um, I'm completely off Christmas week and I just have a couple small obligations. So um, let's let's shoot for let's shoot for a day um, Wednesday or Thursday, I guess. And okay, um, Thursday is good for me. Okay. What time? Um, you tell me what I can do it. I think. How about ten o'clock? At the shelter. Yep. Okay. All right. So. Ellen and I can um, sit down and maybe between the two of us with her sequel and my not sequel but not today. <laughs> we can write some reports or okay. figure out how to write some better. I think a new one was called Panther maybe is that something about it? I'm thinking of a, if it's a language it might be Python, but Python, I don't know. That's the language, yeah, I don't think the database would be Python. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, it was like the longest tech update. <laughs> <laughs> so, can Steve remain the chair of the tech committee, not being on the board, or can we need to nominate him? Have have a director. That's what I thought. Um, that one, oh my God! Again. I wasn't just gonna suck it all up. What are you doing, to me, Steve? Well, I don't believe you're a chair on any committee at this point. No, I'm not. I can. I think that the tech Maybe. committee might. Okay. I, I might be able to help out there. Well, we can talk yeah, about so that. if Steve, if we're going to meet too on, on Thursday, maybe you can tell me more about what. It, it, it really comes down to you answer the phone when Marta calls to help with stuff. Um, I think which, the, which, again, I can still do a lot of. Okay. So, I'll um, give the report at the meeting. Okay. Yeah. okay. So just, yeah. But that doesn't mean I, does that mean I can, I don't, can't be on the operations committee? No, you can be on as many committees as you want. You can get all of them. <laughs> Not all of them. Okay. No, we, just, we don't say no. <laughs> we just need a director to chair every committee. Steve was the chair. Okay, we'll um, talk about that. And yeah, if you're not able to do it, then I'll. I, I just I'll need to under. I just fine. need to understand what. What it is. I could do it too, but I'm not very good at answering Marta's questions, so that's so, still yeah. going to need to be fielded by somebody else. <laughs> well, again, I mean, as long as it's okay for you guys, I have no problem if Marta wants to call me and she runs into most of the stuff. Yeah, are you going to remain on the committee for us? Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. the, the one thing that I won't be able to do, which I think you already know how to do, is like add emails. Yeah, I know all the Google stuff. The Google stuff, so that would be good. Yeah, I don't Facebook. <laughs> I, I don't do that. <laughs> it all has to help with everything on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Anything else for the tech committee? Your last chance to pass your CDs? Right. No, it's not. <laughs> well, in an, <laughs> in an official dialed. capacity. Um, all right, Dave, operations? Uh, mostly. Thanks to, uh, goes out to Natalie for her work <coughs> on the auction. Uh, we bid up to 1000 on the table, went for 1100 So we didn't get the table, we didn't get anything. Um, so we're still looking. Um, Hannah continues to do well. Uh, kind of the same situation as Hannah going on with Tilly. Yesterday, I think I could feel a tumor in her abdomen. Probably stomach. They did an ultrasound today, but I haven't gotten the report back. So um, things don't look good for Tilly, at least until I get that report. So um, she seems fairly comfortable, other than frequent vomiting. She's still eating on and off, but mostly on. Uh, so she's still relatively comfortable, but. Probably won't be too soon before we need a decision on her to put her down. So. How old is she? Uh, Eight. Yeah. She's my left. Yeah, she's everybody's left cat. She's so really cool. Do we do we need to do the same? <coughs> Let me find out what they found on the ultrasound, and we'll go from there. <coughs> okay. Let us know if we want to do a pre-approved form. Just to. Same person time. Is that all? Yeah, unless anybody, uh, I'm just curious. I haven't heard anything about the dental machine. I heard words. Yeah. Early November came on pretty quickly. <laughs> so, um, you know, this auction uh, was 
potentially a good deal. So, uh, you know, if anybody is into that and hears stuff like that. How did you hear about this one to start? Natalie. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, now that you know specifically the, the items that, that we were going to bid on there, too, I don't know if searching for those items specifically might benefit. It might be years before another debt planning option comes up. Yeah, I don't know. Craigslist might be a shot too. <coughs> Finance committee. Um, what do you mean? I mean, just two and three. The American Funds Oppenheimer and Fidelity accounts have been sold slash closed. Deb's continuing to research lower cost credit card processing. Can uh, I ask a question on that? Yep. How much, um, how much, what percentage are we currently looking? Do you have? No. Okay. Deb took copies of the statements with her. Okay. Out of town. The reason I ask is because when I was with BTPW, we we hooked up with an organization that specializes in helping nonprofits credit, process credit cards. Mm -hmm. And last I knew, there was like a, an annual fee, and then we only paid like a really low percentage on okay. processing. Um, so I'll have to dig in um, and figure out what that. It's um, significant enough that Deb's in a tailspin about it. Okay, I'll so find out. I'll, I'll get the <coughs> name of the company and see if that might be, if it might be worth at least checking okay. into for our purposes. Because obviously, we pro I think, and we process a lot more as IMHS than we did for BMW. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, and we've got the thrift store in addition to the shelter. Yeah, so it might be, because I, last I knew, I want to say it was maybe like 400 bucks a year. That'd be less than what we paid probably the last quarter. Well, that was for the membership, for the, right. and then and then it was like 2 or 3 percent, maybe. Okay. So we can crunch the numbers and see okay. if it might be an option. Cool. Has anyone looked into using Square? I don't know. Because there's absolutely no fee for that. It's just whatever the percentage of the credit cards charge, which is anywhere between 1 and 4 percent. And it's just called Square? Square. You download it as an app on your iPad or iPhone, and then you get the little readers. You don't even have to have the reader. You can manually enter a credit card number, and then it processes, and you can either select to send them an email receipt or not, or if you can hook it up to a printer, you can print one out for them. We kind of threw the idea around a little bit, but we started thinking about all of the complications that would come with the smartphones themselves and the monthly bill that you have to pay that would go with it and if it would end up saving any money because you know the, the smartphone would always have to be in the shelter and in the thrift store so it couldn't be anybody's And personal. you have to have internet access. Right. You just use a tablet. So it seemed like once you pay right. a phone bill or even you know, yeah. But if you get a tablet for the store, you even can, can even get a refurbished one from Apple, hundred bucks. That's true. Then it would probably be worth it if you're paying more than four hundred dollars. Yikes. Yeah, mm -hmm. quite a bit. I don't know how much it is. Is that percentage of it? No, because it won't. It doesn't plug into a laptop. That works pretty powerful. It's like something. Do you know if they have an app or a, like like a Windows app or a Mac app instead of having to have a smartphone that you can just install something? Install it on a computer. That's a good question. I haven't looked. I asked Marcel about it, and he didn't know about anything. He said that the apps that, are, that come out are pretty powerful, that you have to spend several hundred dollars for a Windows version. But that's the only one. Okay. I'll uh, pass along the square information and that you're going to look into that to Deb. 
Yeah, it's Black Tie Colorado. So, do you just want me to have her look into that? It's an option. I can probably donate a device that the shelter can use as long as we have Wi-Fi at the shelter. Mm -hmm. I I have a device that could. It's an old iPhone. I'll pass that all on to Deb. <clears throat> um, I have on here that we're still looking for another director to obtain the raffle license. And Alan, <coughs> you know, yep. what, what comes of that. The new business, and actually the reason we got together fairly quickly, was the two adoption fees that we're missing from PetSmart University. Um, but at the time of the meeting, we didn't really know what the possibility was that the money had gone to another organization and it sounds like it's pretty likely that that's what happened but with not knowing that uh, we got together and Marta had already instituted a number of different uh, ways of handling the pickups and having people sign off on the money to make sure that we're getting everything back um, and that was what Steve already <coughs> brought up that the shelter staff needs help with the ASM issues because they haven't really been able to <coughs> conduct good inventories because of the software limitations. Uh, the committee is going to start reviewing and investing excess operating funds on a quarterly basis. That's with the expectation that we're going to have an excess all the time. Uh, Fidelity, oh, I already told you guys that, all those have been closed. Uh, Matt, where's the savings account being opened? Do you have I never got the information that I would have needed to fill out the okay. form. I don't really, I'm happy to do it, but I don't really see how by doing it will save any time and that I need a ton of information from you or Deb about exactly how much money. I mean, there's yeah, I'll past, ask if you look Deb, I didn't know if you guys had gotten no, together yet or not. never no. called me. Okay. But if you look past the personal information yeah. from the signers, there's a ton of stuff down there, and I just don't know okay. how to... I mean, I'll I'm, see where she I'm is. I'd be happy to fill it out, but then it's also going to need to be printed and mailed in with a bunch of documents as well. Okay. Because, you know, after we sign it, Deb and I have to sign it, or who, who is the other Just you and Deb. Yeah. So... And then I think there were like four different other documents that you need to step with it. Okay. You know, I'll see check, what she has the, the box and all that kind of stuff. So. Okay. Um, Vanguard is another account we'll be working on opening, and that's where we're going to open <coughs> the investment, the non reserve investment funds that we voted on last month to be a 60 40 mix. The 2013 budget will be submitted for approval in January. If we have just too many changes in processes and the way the shelter has been run during 2012 for us to really <coughs> be able to estimate where we should expect to be for November and December of next year. So I want to wait until we get our actual figures for November and December. And then I have I, uh, just a standard formula that I'm using to increase expectations on income and expenses and whatnot. So it'll be after we close out December's books that I'll be able to send out the 2013 budget for approval. And, but in future years, I expect that we'll be sending that out the last quarter of the current year. So we'll always have um, the next year's budget approved prior to that year. Uh, restricted funds report, we have 36.92.62 set aside for foster care Medicaid, a surgery table, and windshield. <coughs> we're trying to reallocate the money for the windshield or get approval from the donor to reallocate that money for something else. And then $26,115.53 in the shelter capital fund. Operating reserves are currently sitting in the first bank checking account, which is our operating account, until we get this other savings account open. And that will be the purpose of this additional savings account is for the operating reserves. And you'll see that our net income is higher than budgeted for the month and for year to date. Everything is looking awesome. 
And if anyone's interested, I printed off just a couple copies of the thrift stores. Kiddos. In November, they had almost a 56% increase over last year, with almost 28% increase year to date over last year. So they're rocking and rolling. And that's all I have. Does anyone have questions? On the second page, is that, um, it says November 13th, is that November 12th? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's 2012. And is the thrift store the sales number, the number seven? Is it's part of sales. Part of sales. Mm -hmm. We do collars and leashes and logo gear in addition. <clears throat> We haven't reached the limit quite yet. Oh, okay. We're almost there, though. I'm <laughs> really curious about how that's doing, obviously. It's, um, I expect by the end of the year we'll probably reach the limit, and that's $250 that we'll get every time we reach it. Because we could do it apart. <laughs> yeah. Anything else for me? Thank you. Um, I don't believe there's any open business. Does anybody have any new business? I think I do. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, we need letters to go to corporates. Um, some of these big companies like uh, Safeway and King Supers, they tell you, you know, oh, we can't give you any money, we got to go to corporate. So I made a list. And I don't know who would want the list to send letters to these people and start asking for money for our next year. So, uh, here it is. Maybe email them to Martin and decide if you want to put that on, on one of her different lists or categories or whatever it is we're doing right now. I don't know where she want to categorize them. Yeah, yeah. Anything else? No, that was it. I just didn't know who to give that to. <coughs> All right. If we start now, we can <coughs> ask for what we need <coughs> and maybe give it. <laughs> Call the meeting to close at 7.02. Thanks so much. Happy holidays.